Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Asking with Jack. So today I'm going to be showing you a walkthrough video of my brand new to me Hobie Pro Angler 14. So, without further ado, uh, let's get at it. So starting with the bow of this beast, I just got a rope that came with it. Two strands, tie off on stuff. Because I'm used to my older sport with the six inch round hatch. This is amazing. Um. The massive front hatch. Open it up. Got the thing, uh, buckle. If you don't want it. There you go, easy enough. Then you got this big old tub here. This comes out. Get your rod tubes there. Um. Then you got your big gear mounters, mounters, so don't drill straight into the polyethylene. You can see it's um, thin and not from the plastic. And then, I, of course, all Hobies. Got your sail mount. And I don't know what these are. Maybe some kind of top. But this looks like a, I don't know, 4 inch, 5 inch Jack Tack gear trap. Um, got them on both sides. Then, it came with the mount, the Scotty mount, but I put the rod holder in. And got the cutting board. It opens. Then the little bucket comes out. Then got inside your hole. Where you want to put a fish finder battery or something. And you got the seat, which is a, I think it's a lot better than my old seat. My kayak. Then I got your you got rulers on both sides. Then you got looks probably like a 10 inch yuck deck gear track. Clamped on. This came with the kayak as well. Both sides. And the, I'm a freak about having stuff even in place. So like this is a Scotty like flush mount circle I've never seen before. And it only has one. So I'm gonna get another one just because I'm a neat um even freak. Then my rod holder sensors I made. I'm not taking credit for this. This is Zolfinger's idea with the blowtorch and shove it in there. Worked pretty well, just did it last night. Um and then you got your uh back looks like a this is a six inch or eight inch twist and seal hatch. It's your little bucket, but no one ever uses this because it's so darn far back. Um then you got your rudder inspection here. A big old ram mount. Never seen them this big before. But instead of all that storage back here, like I always give my friends, like I'll put you back here and we'll go to the lake. Um, I got gear, um, or rod holder extension right here. Then you got a thing to hold a paddle. And I took the bungees out because they broke going down the road because of these bungee straps. I guess friction. Then I got rod leashes for my Scotty. Then another one for the Scotty back there. I just have to hold my drain plugs open. Then you got your mesh pockets, and the seat comes down. No storage under the seat, which I'm kind of bummed about, but that's why you have storage. Then you got a snap that comes on here, so if you're transporting it, it won't come loose. Then of course, you got your rudder. Um, you just pull it. And this isn't the gear, it's 2014 I believe, or 2015, it came out with the tracking skag on the 14, well, yeah, 2015. But you have a skag looking thing here, but it's just not retractable. Then you got your two drain plugs here in the back, which on my old sport I have only one. And, um, I'll just go through quickly all the stickers I have on it. I got Viking Yachts. All Tackle, Alliance Marine Group, uh, Foolish Pleasure, Outrigger Yacht Products. Check out the these, this sticker, this sticker. Um, Foolish Pleasure, I said, Oasis, another book that my dad runs. And right here I got Black Bart, Bluers, pretty cool looking. Oh, yeah. lo and behold, smooth. Boat wash and boat wax. They're made right here in um, Penn Island, Maryland. So, if you want to have good boat compound waxes, good boat wash, the key is it's not a citrus or pine based wax. 
so it will strip your wax when you put it on your fiberglass like ore pine and other products that's so harsh on your boat just takes wax off then all the stickers are the same on this side so check them out smoothwax.com get you a bottle oh I forgot oh I'm glad I checked over here you got your three rod tubes for the bass boat so stick this rod in here and show you just take your rod stick it in there goes my seat then you have to secure your rods and they have little notches here put them in just drop them in you got a little bungee here it's retractable pretty awesome um then you have here for a tackle box it's on the other side too once your cord is retractable so you can secure your boxes down um and like I was going to say, I have a Yeti sticker and a Frigid Ridgey sticker. Just both of my cooler stickers are there. But yeah, we have a couple West Marines back there. Bill Buckman's Fisherman Center. You can buy your smooth there. Off the hook bait and tackle. Um, second chance. It's where I take all my animals that I find um, that are injured. Or maybe they do a good job there. Then I have Imagine. It's a boat that, um people I know run it. So I know the owners. Um, so here's my PA-14. Um, I'll set up, not all set up the fish. I have a bunch more accessories. But I'll make a video on that later. So, oh, I almost forgot. Um, I have a trailer for it. It's by Trailer X. It's, I think the model is a small boat trailer. But it's got the cradles for the um, kayak. You can see two tan things in the V of the hole. Um, good, nice. Have it strapped down with um, some ratchet straps. They're not ratchet straps, but just some straps. Yeah, let's have a bucket in there. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something from this. Oh, and I've got um, an anchor trolley system. I can do things, you just move my anchor around. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and hope you learned something from it and please like, subscribe. I hope to be making some memories in this thing. Thanks.